buying a Saab, a 2004 Saab for two grand. A, this is true. A week later, the transmission went out, cost me $3,725 to repair it. I told my car in a week, I didn't even wreck it. <laughs> I hate that this is all true. All right, coming to the stage, very funny man, Vegas Mike.
Southern, whatever. There we go. One Southern. All right. I agree with you, man, because I like accents too. It's something I've discovered about myself. But I like the exotic ones. You know, the stuff you don't hear every day. And so I've decided the next girl I date is going to have the most exotic accent I can find. A deaf girl. Yeah, it's two things, fellas. First of all, if you get a little rubber tug from a girl who can only speak using her hands, well, that counts as a blow. <laughs> totally counts. And secondly, if you give someone who's deaf an orgasm, it does not count as nookie. It counts as wookie. <laughs> I'm on her back like C-3PO. For those of you not laughing at that joke, there's a little movie called Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. And in that movie, Chewbacca, the Wookiee, is walking with C-3PO on his back. Now, C-3PO is an android, okay? He's been disassembled by the Jawas. So what they're trying to do is find Luke. I haven't been fucked in a while, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's been so long, my bush looks like the forest moon of, te or, uh, forest moon of Indoor. It's just, yeah. My dick is drier than Tatooine. Yes. Yeah. Instead of crabs, I've got Ewoks. I just know the first time I'm with a chick and I come there in the situation, they're going to throw a celebration because they're little fucking cock blocking assholes. Fireworks going off everywhere, music playing. Millions of ghost Jedi sperm and fitted brown robes. Hayden Christensen's going to be there. Why? He ruined the prequels. She's obviously going to be confused by the commotion, look up at me and be like, what the fuck was that? I'm going to look her in the eye and go, a new hope. I used to be married. Give it up for that. Hang on. Anyone divorced out here? Any happy people? <laughs> yeah. I got divorced because my ex-wife cheated on me in an orgy. Yeah, orgy, five or more people for those of you keeping count at home. She tried to justify it to me by saying she only did stuff with girls at the orgy, didn't touch a guy. I was like, honey, I have a couple qualifying questions here. First of all, uh, were there guys at the orgy? She's like, yeah. I was like, okay. Uh, fun fact, bitch, <laughs> if there are dick-shaped objects in the room that are actually dicks, that's cheating. That's just my pain. Uh, that was not really a joke. I got a daughter out of the situation, though. Uh, the marriage, not the orgy. Yeah. I love my daughter. She's six years old and wants to be a comedian when she grows up. I think it's awesome. Uh, so like any good father, I've stolen the only two jokes that she's written, and here they are. The first one is she runs up to me and she goes, Daddy, Daddy. I'm like, what, honey? She goes, knock, knock. Who's there, sweetheart? She goes, wait, 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 wait. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why, honey? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you clap, I wanted to hit her. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're lucky you're a girl. <laughs> she got this shitty leg thing, too. That wasn't an embellishment. She was just like, yeah. Buckler in the car seat, debating if I should actually lock it or not, afraid for the best. And uh, she's trying to tell me another joke. She goes, Daddy, China's far. It's like six, maybe seven miles away. And I look at her, and I'm like, honey, China's way further than six or seven miles away. And in my head, I'm like, you fucking idiot. But like, you know, I, I don't say it. I'm just thinking it, looking at her stupid little eyes in the mirror. I'm like, honey, China's way farther than that. She goes, yeah, I know. That's the joke, dummy. 